Now we have a great example here to illustrate the power of the scan function. Hey, we have an initial stock value, a bunch of stock returns, and we need to calculate the stock value. Equals, well, there's the initial value times. In parentheses, that 1 means please go get the original principal plus whatever the rate of change is. Close parentheses, Enter. Now here's the thing. In this column, I need to do a formula that always looks at the previous calculation. So I'm looking at the stock value times, in parentheses, 1 plus the change for this year. Close parentheses, Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. And bam, there is, in year 2033, the estimated stock value. But guess what? We have two different formulas in a single column. And I always get nervous when that's the case. And there's a perfect function that will look at the previous value calculated and make some calculation on it. It's called scan. This is actually a lambda helper function. But guess what? We do have an initial value, comma. We do have an array, all of these, plus 1. And what did we do, comma? Instead of building our custom lambda, we can just use product, but close parentheses. And that single column, when I hit Enter, calculates all the way down. Now, scan is perfect because it acts on each subsequent value, delivering all the intermediate values and the last one. Now, there's a related function to scan. It does exactly the same thing but it only gives you the last value. That's called reduce. It iterates through calculating each intermediate value, but bam, only gives you the last one. However, if I really was going to do this, I'd just do stock returns plus 1 in product. So they multiply and then multiply times the original value, and bam, there's the final value.